Welcome to today's camp. In the Clark River, below Pilot and Index Peak. I'm starting to know where I'm at since I've been here for a week. I wanted this campsite for a long time. Someone finally pulled out of it and I pulled in. I uh, just caught a little trout over there on the other side. The river flows around. It's a rapid back there I showed you a couple days ago. And then I lost my lure in this little hole down here, so I am going to figure out how to make this a wheelchair accessible swimming hole and go get my lure. Try not to freeze or fall again. I already fell yesterday, so can't fall today. Two days in a row would be absolutely awful. And uh Unfortunately, it's not stuck on a stick today, so Nora can't go get it for me. It's stuck between a couple of rocks. Which, she likes to get rocks from the bottom of the river, but I don't know how I'd tell her to get that particular rock. Anyways, I'm going to shut up and uh, try not to fall getting down here. First part is this steep little slanted incline. Uh, step one done. Looks steeper, man. You look so easy. It's not. It's like that. See, steep, steep, steep. I don't know how I'm supposed to get back up that. That wasn't. Maybe I'll butt step up those. But then this is a lot more uh, tricky than I thought it was going to be. I kind of want to go over that section right there. But it leans like that quite a bit. So. Could go down there. Actually, that's probably a pretty good idea. Go down and get off those rocks, and then I could float. Just don't get stuck in that nasty current right there. Could hold onto the rocks all the way around to where my lure's at right there. That might be the ticket. Now I'm thinking instead of down there, I should go right here. Hop off that little rock. Float the current around. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, the flies are eating me up alive. Float that little current around. Hang on to the edge here and get over there to the lure. And then getting back, I could just pull myself along the rocks here. Be tough to pull myself past that current. I bet I could do it though. Worst case scenario, I get stuck somewhere down here and have to wait till someone comes and pulls my wheelchair across the rocks for me. But I'm gonna go in down here. I'll show you when I get there. Now that I'm nice and dry and on safe, solid ground, I'll do a little recap for you. So, that's where I got in. Left the wheelchair behind. And swam around the rocks, around that point. And as soon as I got right there, it got real fun. And I uh, swiftly went from that point. Well, let's see, maybe with my finger I can do it better. I started here, swam, got caught in the current here, went down almost to this rock here, and then swam in along this, well no that's not true, I got in, swam in right about here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh man. Should I tell him this story? Is this anything interesting, Nora? The dog I yelled at so rudely earlier, I apologize. I didn't mean to yell at you, dog. Alright, let's see. Let me try and tell a story. We got in here. Swam. Got caught in the current around this point. And then I swam over into this little pocket right here. Where I retrieved my lure. And then I hear something over in the bushes. Just a second. Hmm. I don't know what it is. So I got my lure. And the hard part was swimming back and trying to come up this current right here around the corner of this rock. I made it to about right here once and then slipped and went so That's scary because then there's always a chance of getting picked up and taken this way into the big rapid down here. But 
didn't happen. I was able to hang on to this little rock over here and then climb back up. But by the time I got here, I could not pull myself around this corner. The current was too strong. So I had to kind of belly scoot up on these rocks here. Right about to this point, I was on my belly. And then that's where you see me in the camera flop over backwards into the current going this way. Because if you see this current comes right here and then splits. So it's real hard to get past right here coming up. But if I can throw myself, so I belly scoot, throw myself. Anyways, that's how I got back here. Then right about here, I shampooed my hair and my armpits and my belly, my butt, and my legs, everything else. Then right about here, I rinsed off. And then right about here, I climbed back into the wheelchair. And then right about here, I needed help. So some fishermen came by and helped push me back up the hill. And now I'm right about here. That's the story. That's what I did today, and I retrieved my lure. So now I have a lucky lure that has caught one trout here on the Clark River and is going to catch many, many more trout now that I went through all that effort to salvage it. Isn't that something? My hands are shaking. It's pretty scary. Pretty scary stuff. But I like scary, I'm not going to lie. My chest is nice and sore from scooting across those rocks right there. But whatever. I got it. It's dead. We got it. Get it. It's dead. Dead fly. You see, right where that lady's fishing is where I was swimming earlier. And then that's the current sweeps right there. And I'm really in trouble if I go around those rocks right there. That's why it was so scary. So I didn't want to go down that part of the current. My fishing lure was right there. Just over her left shoulder. So yeah. Now you know the whole story. Who left that door open? Nora, you left your door open. Keep showing the mountains and be quiet. Yeah, that's the rapid I was real afraid of coming down earlier today. The other side of it. I've been getting bites, little fish jumping all over after my lure. So in another one of those spots where I'm not sure how I get back all by myself. Don't make stupid face in the corner. Jordan, please don't put that on YouTube when you edit this video five months from now. She said, throw that fishing pole back out there, man. Catch more fish, I want to see more fish. I like fish. I like fish, I like fish, I like fish a lot. Shut up and catch fish, Jordan. Place is on the top of my list for favorite campsites of the road trip. Got two fish, get to sleep below the mountains. Nobody else is here. I think I love you, so what am I so afraid of?
Nora, knock it off. I said knock it off. Sorry, bud. You are huge. Holy cow. Laura's been in the process of stepping up her bone game recently. We're so close to Yellowstone. And there's such an abundance of wildlife that it's not hard for a black lab to run up and take down a small uh, mule deer. I don't know what she got there. I heard her take it down behind the bushes last night. This is one of the lakes she brought over here. Pretty good at fibbing, huh? Telling stories, making up flies. This is last night's camping site. It's on top of this hill, the Yellowstone River is down there. On the other side of those green trees right there. There's some beautiful rolling hills, some of the mountains of Yellowstone National Park. We went into the park yesterday. I didn't film anything because I didn't feel like filming yesterday. I took a day off. Hadn't done that in a long time. Must have drove 30 miles in that park and saw four different types of wildlife within 30 miles. Saw an elk, a bear, a bison. It's a buckhorn deer, I think. I don't know, I'm no expert. But today we're going back inside the park. The park really doesn't excite me. I can't stand all the people inside the park all pulling over to look at the animal in big excited groups. Taking pictures, speaking foreign languages. You know, half of them get out and they're so excited to see it elk or a squirrel or a bear and then I let Nora out of the car and they scream and go nuts and ah dog 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 I'm just talking about you foreign people not the Wyomings and Americans they don't mind Nora anyways before I uh, offend anybody too much I want to shut off the camera Yellowstone River. Pretty big river. Sorry, I don't mean to run you off the road. Oh, don't give me a look like that. I didn't do anything to upset you. You want me to take your picture in front of the sign for you? Because I will. As I run into the back of a Dodge Caravan. Yeah. Everything has now changed. You have driven through the gate. I think everybody must have heard me complain about the crowds earlier because I'm getting the very best view all to myself right now. In the middle of the day.
Beautiful. Yeah, you said you had to hold his hand.